Hello, I'm Brian Farrell, and welcome to Peace IT session on Client Side Networking Setup Part 1. Today we're going to discuss home groups, some of the differences between a work group and domain network setup, and then we will discuss network shares and mapping drives. And with that, let's go ahead and begin this session. So, of course, we begin by discussing home groups. Home groups were introduced with Windows 7. You can think of home groups as a form of ad hoc networking. Microsoft calls it the easiest method of sharing resources on a small network. All versions of Windows 7 and newer can join home groups, but only home premium and higher versions can create them. So how do you create a home group? Well, first off, you go to the control panel and you select the home group's utility. Once there, you click on the Create a Home Group button. Then you get to select which resources you want to share with the home group. Windows will share the corresponding library of resources. Then you click Next. Now the home group is created and a password is displayed. You need to write down the password because you may need it later. Then you click Finish. Then you share the password with those that you want to join your home group. So once a home group is created, how do you get other PCs to join it? Well, you select the home group utility from the control panel. If a home group has already been created, you will get a prompt to join it. Then you determine what you want to share with the home group. Then you enter the proper password for the home group. Remember I told you to write it down earlier? Home groups are now set up. Now let's discuss some of the differences between a work group and domain network setup. We begin with work groups. Work groups are easy and simple. You can think of them as peer-to-peer -peer networking. They do work best for small networks, 10 or fewer user machines. Why is that? Well, because if you're going to share resources on the network, then your machine needs to have a user account for each person that needs access to that resource. That's because work groups use a separate account database on each machine that's involved in the network. Now, domain networks are slightly more complex, but they're also more secure and easy to manage. That's because the user has one account that is used to authenticate and authorize access to needed resources on the network. Domains use a central account database to handle user resource requests. And if you've already put a file server on your network, then you might as well go ahead and set up a domain network since you're almost all the way there already. Now let's discuss how you join a work group or a domain. The steps that are required are very similar with just a few changes. You begin by clicking the Start button and then right click on Computer and select Properties. Once you're on the Properties page, Select the Advanced Systems setting, then click on the Computer Name button, then click Change. From here, you can join a work group or a domain. If you join a work group, all you need to do is change the work group name. A reboot is required in order for you to finalize the step. You can also join a domain from the Change Name screen. You click on the proper button and then you enter the name of the domain you wish to join. Then you enter the proper username and password. This also requires a reboot in order for that PC to join a domain. Now let's talk about network shares and mapping drives. A network share is any shared resource on the network. It can be as simple as a file or folder. It can be space on a disk drive or even a whole disk drive itself. Now, access to network shares is gained by using the Universal Naming Convention, the UNC, from a run box. The standard format is backslash backslash computer name backslash share name. It is easier, though, if you're going to connect to that network share on a regular basis to use drive mapping. Now, mapping a drive simplifies the process of connecting two network shares. So how do you map a drive to a network share in Windows 7? Well, you click on the Start button, then you select Computer, and then you click on Tools. 
From that drop down, you select Map Network Drive. Then you select the drive letter that you want that network share to have. Then you enter the universal naming convention, the backslash backslash computer name backslash share name, and then you select reconnect at logon and then finish. From now on, you will have a shortcut link to that network share available from the desktop. Now that concludes this session on client side network setup part one. We discussed home groups. We discussed some of the differences between work group and a domain network setup. And we finished by talking about network shares and mapping drives. Now on behalf of Pace IT, thank you for watching this session and I'm sure we'll do some more soon.